Hi, I'm Mike McCormick, live from GBTA Studios here in Toronto, and I'm here with Angelise Davidson, Senior Director of Corporate Sales Americas for Radisson Hotel Group. Good Thank morning. Thank you for joining me. Thank you very much. So, um, as always, interesting times in the, the world, the hotel business, uh, certainly very good times in terms of generally the economy, yeah. um, you know, uh, occupancy rates uh, generally good and healthy. But uh, so what trends are you seeing when you're talking with and negotiating with your uh, your customers in the marketplace? With our, with our corporate customers, I think that um, some of the things that we're seeing is that buyers are changing the way they buy. Um, so they are issuing less RFPs or maybe they're issuing RFPs um, every two years instead of every year. Um, you know, it's saving them time, it's saving right. them money as well. So that's kind of one of the, the key things that we're seeing. They're also um, more open to, uh, in, interested to have conversations with us about dynamic pricing right. and chain-wide discounts. Right. Yeah, I mean, we talk about dynamic pricing, it's certainly it's been around. Um, you know, I think you know, it sounds like there's, you know, it seems like there's more and more adoption but still not quite that critical mass of programs, you know, being in dynamic pricing. Um, why is that? What, like, what, what do you think the barriers are that uh, for getting more, more customers, you know, thinking that way? I think that they're still, you know, thinking of that static rate being the lowest rate that they can get. Right. Right. Um, whereas when we look at a, a din dynamic rate, um, you know, they're still negotiating static rates in maybe some of those volume locations right. um, where there's significant volume in, in those markets. Right. Um, but then really when you think about dynamic pricing, looking at sort of those secondary markets where there's not as much volume, it's a great opportunity. It's, right. a, it's a great discount off of bar. Um, and you know, then piggybacking that on top of a chain wide discount for, for other locations globally, it's, it's a perfect kind of a win-win. Kind of a hybrid approach. It is. Exactly. Yeah, and I think look, look, for all of us that have been in the industry, you know, a long time, you know, that the um, the whole rate loading and rate you know negotiating process right. is just one that you know it, it's it's be, it's kind of a necessary evil, but yes. maybe to the point where we can really as an industry start to move move on from that, right? Uh, the data that's available, you know, now uh, across all of your buying as a customer, really is, uh, you know, is robust now. Where in the past, I mean, I can see where there would be, you know, concerns about adopting something and really not knowing the impact. Right. Today's market, really, you should be able to, well, for both, you know, hotelier and for customer, mm -hmm. be able to track that and, and understand uh, and benchmark it appropriately. That's right. Yeah. Absolutely. I, I think for us, most uh, important really is understanding what our customers' overall objectives and what their goals are right. and how we can take our programs and really tie solutions to those. That's great. Yeah. Um, so when you look for Radisson for the year ahead, what's on the horizon? What are you excited about? Um, really excited, I, I think, mostly about our development, especially here in the Americas. Um, we have you know, new hotels opening, a, a lot of great announcements just last Late last year, we opened our, our brand new Radisson Red in Portland. Um, as uh, you might have heard this week at, at the GBTA conference here, that our Radisson Admiral um, Hotel Toronto Harbourfront is rebranding to Radisson Blue. So the first blue in Canada. Oh, nice. Um, Very good. And that'll be happening this year. And um, another big one that we're excited about is our, our Radisson Hotel um, uh, Times Square in New York City. And right. that's opening this summer. So a lot of expansion and um, really looking at developing hotels and key gateway cities um, with a big focus on our Radisson Red and our, our Radisson Blue brands. Very good. Yeah, so very excited. Well, good luck with all that in the year ahead. Thank you so much. And thank you for joining us here in the studio. Thank you. And I'm Mike McCormick, live from GBTA Studios here in Toronto.